food and medicine drying up in Walnut Hills for those who don't have cars. That area is going through a transformation. New small businesses are coming in, which is great. It helps the neighborhood's shopping and entertainment, but important resources that people rely on are moving out. And WLWT News 5's Megan Mitchell live with the latest departure. Megan, and how this impacts these residents. Yeah, you know, we've been covering this, and you probably remember just about six years ago, the Kroger here in Walnut Hills had it closed, and this has become a food desert since then. There's been some initiatives to try and help alleviate that, but CVS was one of the places where you could go get some, uh, you know, crackers or milk or eggs, and now it just announced that it's closing. So residents here are feeling like they've been looked over, and so this is a definitely a big issue we've been covering for you and for many in this neighborhood it's really a tough loss this provided some of the needs that went away when the kroger closed but residents tell me they are especially put out by the pharmacy needs miss ruby here has lived in walnut hills on and off since she was five she is in a wheelchair and she needs medication for her black lung she says in her building alone six of her friends come to get their medications almost on a daily basis for their cancer battles and transportation is difficult. Many people here don't have cars. So uh, out of the 7,000 people that are here, about 40% don't have personal transportation. So they're very much reliant on being able to walk or having somebody go get something for them at, at uh, CVS. You know, I was able to get a hold of CBS's spokesperson there just yesterday, and he told me that this is actually part of a larger initiative that was announced back in November to do away with some storefronts in areas where there maybe were multiple CBS's. So, uh, you know, he, he does say that this was part of that larger picture, and that is overall a three-year plan. Reporting live here in Walnut Hills, Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5. Now, Megan, so where these folks have to make a plan, where can they go now for prescriptions? Yeah, you know, the same spokesperson I told or I just told you about said that there are CVS locations that people can go to downtown in Coryville and in Clifton. Another option, though, that you heard from right there, Gary Dangle was the man. He's a community advocate here in Walnut Hills. He does food access for the Redevelopment Foundation. He was telling me that about half a mile up the road on Gilbert Avenue, there is an LGBTQ healthcare center. It's called Equitas Health. And this could be an option for people because although they focus on LGBTQ folks, they really can serve anyone. They do serve anyone. So that's definitely an option if you want to maybe have something within half a mile, perhaps walking distance for some of these residents here in Walnut Hills. Back to you. All right, Megan Mitchell reporting for us live. Very important conversation.